hometown angler here welcome back today i want to do a gear review of the fluger president spinning reel never done a gear review before but i know a lot of you guys are watching my videos are fishing the same gear that i am the same areas that i am and i know fluger is a popular brand and this is by far their most popular rod and reel combo it's gonna be an excellent way to bring you guys some new content and some more diverse content so let's get into it now I like this reel a lot I like it so much that I actually have two of them I have the 35 and I have the 25 now I started out with the 25 and eventually I got myself a 35 35 is about perfect for bass fishing with this reel they did something really smart where they made all of them just a 5 to 1 gear ratio nice slow gear ratio is good for most people to pull those Senkos those live baits things like that some good action this reel looks good too it's got the gold bail with some steel blue type powder coating on the outside now this is a 10 bearing system very smooth reel action nice handle the body is graphite the handle is aluminum oversized comfort type handle this will take a 10 pound line at 125 yards it'll take 14 pounds of braid at 160 yards i like this because it's got the anti-reverse on or off in case you need to use that this has a 25.3 inch retrieve rate which means every single time you reel that handle around it's going to pull 25.3 inches of line this reel is just felt perfect for a beginner or a bank angler but i wouldn't shy away from it as a intermediate or advanced now when you first get the reel it's more than likely going to come on a blank like this now Fluger's pretty smart where they offer a lot of different variations this one was a six foot six inch medium action this will accept a six to twelve pound line it's the Fluger president rod it's got a nice cork handle on it uh, it's kind of thicker me myself I like a thinner handle but this comes in so many different variations all the way up to a seven foot medium heavy graphite rod with all the different variations there's really something to suit almost every angler out there and another thing that i really like is it's got the aluminum uh just brushed eyelets where even the, some of the saint croix and stuff they have the painted or powder coated ones and that wears off and then it just doesn't look good if you pay attention to detail in your stuff the rod seat isn't too bad um, i think that's got to be steel or aluminum right there and then it just kind of seats in to their basic like that um, part of the seat is integrated into the handle so you just screw the whole handle down like this and you're ready to go it's pretty comfortable handle like i said it's nice and thick um, if you like that i personally prefer a thinner one but um, you know if you like a thicker handle this is going to be great for you this is uh, what I would consider an excellent all-around reel, but also a really good bass reel with the 35 and the 5 to 1 gear ratio. Um, I've had 15 pound braid on this and you know I can still cast it out a mile. Really nice rod and reel overall. Looks good too. Graphite rod. With all the different variations, there's really something to suit almost every angler out there. And another thing that I really like is it's got the aluminum uh, just brushed eyelets where even the, some of the St. Croix and stuff, they have the painted or powder coated ones and that wears off and then it just doesn't look good if you pay attention to detail in your stuff. The rod seat isn't too bad. Um, I think that's gotta be steel or aluminum right there. And then it just kind of seats in to their basic like that um, part of the seat is integrated into the handle so you just 
screw the whole handle down like this and you're ready to go it's a pretty comfortable handle like I said it's nice and thick um, if you like that I personally prefer a thinner one but um, you know if you like a thicker handle this is gonna be great for you this is uh, what I would consider an excellent all-around reel but also a really good bass reel with the 35 and the 5 to 1 gear ratio um, I've had 15 pound braid on this and you know I can still cast it out a mile really nice rod and reel overall looks good too so the reel itself in all the variations goes for $59.99 the rod and reel combo is going to go for $84.99 no line comes on it so you're gonna have to plan to buy line too this is Fluger's um, intermediate line here. It's not their lowest end or, you know, like a Monarch or something, but it's not like a Supreme either. A lot of people use these reels. Let's say the President by far is the most popular reel that Fluger sells and probably one of the most popular reels, at least in Minnesota or Wisconsin. A lot of retailers will carry these. Uh, your Gander Outdoors, your Fleet Farms, your uh, Camping Worlds, your Dick Sporting Goods, Dunhams, they all should have a president in stock when you go in there. Fluger's done really well with these over the years. Um, complaints with it, I would say that a lot of times the line can get twisted, especially if you're throwing one of those weightless Cinco's. Uh, your lines can get twisted down here, through here, you gotta watch it, and it always seems to happen at the wrong time when you got that big bass on there. Um, other than that, I really have no complaints about it. I would put this on a, you know, $140 St. Croix rod, or I would keep the ones they come with. They're really excellent rods. In the beginning of the season, I caught a lot of big bass on these rods. I really like this reel. I think that uh, you guys will like it too, if this is your first reel. Definitely great. If you have some experience with spinning reels, and you're just looking for a great one if this is your price point then i would definitely grab it it's worth every penny of the 84.99 that you'll pay for a combo like this so thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed my first gear review uh, i'll have more to come hope you'll stop back watch my other videos thanks for stopping GoPro stuff recording. <sighs> so the reel itself in all the variations goes for $59.99. The rod and reel combo is going to go for $84.99. No line comes on it, so you're gonna have to plan to buy line too. This is Fluger's um, intermediate line here. It's not their lowest end or you know, like a monarch or something, but it's not like a supreme either. A lot of people use these reels. Let's say the President by far is the most popular reel that Fluger sells and probably one of the most popular reels, at least in Minnesota or Wisconsin. A lot of retailers will carry these. Uh, your Gander Outdoors, your Fleet Farms, your uh, Camping Worlds, your Dick Sporting Goods, Dunhams, they all should have a President in stock when you go in there. Fluger's done really well with these over the years. Um, complaints with it, I would say that a lot of times the line can get twisted, especially if you're throwing one of those weightless Cinco's. Uh, your lines can get twisted down here, through here, you gotta watch it, and it always seems to happen at the wrong time when you got that big bass on there. Um, other than that, I really have no complaints about it. I would put this on a you know, $140 St. Croix rod or I would keep the ones they come with. They're really excellent rods. In the beginning of the season, I caught a lot of big bass on these rods. I really like this reel. I think that uh, you guys will like it too, if this is your first reel. Definitely great if you have some experience with spinning reels and you're just looking for a great one. If this is your price point, then I would definitely grab it. It's worth every penny of the $84.99 that you'll pay for a combo like this. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my first gear review. Uh, I'll have more to come. Hope you'll stop back, watch my other videos.